welcome back to another episode of A Lady's Garden. I hope everyone had a wonderful, blessed Easter. Um, this past Sunday, I, I do believe that there's a lot of things in the world that are just sad and it's hard to keep positive and it's sometimes it's it's just hard in general and I do feel that if we all can reflect and think about the reason for the season, reason for the holiday, hopefully it inspires hope and peace in everyone, but I don't want to, you know, go ahead and start preaching to you guys. I just want you guys to know that I do hope that you had a wonderful, a wonderful holiday. So, we are going to be mulching today. We are going to be mulching the Mother Mary garden. Usually I wait till everything is leafed out, um, especially my oak trees because they drop pollen pearls as I call them. Um, but this year we're getting so much rain and I'm thankful for the rain. I wanted to just get a jump start on it and not really not overwhelm myself in mulching everything, even though my garden is a little smaller. It does, you know, I'm getting older, so. <laughs> So the body does kind of feel it after, you know, spending what I can spend easily eight hours outside. Um, I do have help in my, my children and my husband, but usually I try to I just jump in and try to do it all myself. You know, they tell me, hey, mom, slow down. You know, we're here to help you. So I'm going to do it in steps this year. So we're going to start in this garden. And you see I have my mulch. Yes, mulch in the big box stores are on sale. So that's when we, we snag them up. And I have another another garden project that I'm working on in another bed but I am going to be putting down paper first so I have a lot of paper saved from like just packaging that we got or packages that came in the mail and I saved the paper and it's thin brown paper and I'm going to lay it down spray it down and I'm just going to put mulch on top of it and I will show you guys when I am all done okay see you soon Everyone. So I'm back and you can definitely see where I stopped mulching. Um, one of the reasons I stopped mulching is because I still have more plants that I want to kind of get for the front of the Mother Mary garden. Um, so I stopped. I stopped because I know definitely I'll be able to find certain plants like the pincushions. They're like a dime a dozen. <laughs> the serendipity alliums they're easily to get um the one thing that i'm not sure i'll be able to find right away that i do want it's a geranium that i, I did get last season um two of them weren't two of them just didn't make it one did and i see i see some evidence of you know life here which is good so i'm hoping it comes back i kind of want to wait to see if it comes back all the way and then I'll feel a bit more um, a bit more secure in purchasing more but either way I do want something pink here I saw a dianthus but I have to be honest I've tried dianthus in my garden I don't know if it's a spot I'm putting it um, but it's a nice blue color and it's pink I forgot the name of it but right now I'm seeing them but I do want to make sure anything I put in the front here is tidy. The pin cushions, they bloom and bloom and bloom. I think if I give them more sun, they'll bloom even more for me. I did divide these a lot. And they, they're nice and green. Um, I want to extend a little bit more into this side. Then I'm hoping to acquire something pink that's hardy and it's not messy. Um, Last year, I did have balloon flower, and they were really nice. They didn't even come back, because <laughs> I don't see them coming out of the ground. But I did realize the balloon flower, balloon flower, even though it's very lovely, and it gives you this really vibrant, kind of blue, lilac-y color, it is messy. Once that flower kind of is spent, it, it, doesn't look very, it doesn't look very pretty. I mean, of course, it's a spent flower, but for something up front, I kind of want to keep it tidy. Hydrangeas um, are tidy for me. I, I think they're a tidy plant. The alliums are a tidy plant even after the flower is spent. You still see a nice structure. So here in front, I want definitely something that's going to be neat and tidy. Now, I can just probably get uh, pink supertunias, jazzberry, bubblegum you know, the usual suspects that are awesome. 
and kind of pop them in here but I am trying to trying to get more perennials speaking of perennials um, oh yes over here so this is thyme I forgot the name of the thyme but I actually moved it I moved it from another area so let me turn you guys around you see a shot of the garden there so this garden bed over here you see this beautiful hydrangea it actually was over here and then you see there are no boxwoods there anymore so I am working in this area as well I know I'm just opening up opening up projects as I go so I moved this hydrangea transplanted this hydrangea from that little spot there to over here um, after I moved the holly from this spot I opened up kind of the view to the back garden a little bit more and I really didn't like that so I know I can't plant anything in this area because of the pine tree roots that I mean I shouldn't say that I have that box with there in a little pocket hoping hoping it does something special but in front there where the trellis is nothing nothing can go there and actually survive so my idea was to put pots now I went out you know and I looked at pots and I was hoping to maybe get a, a nice deal on a concrete pot and there are concrete pots that have a nice deal however those things are beasts and I no way my husband and I can pick that up and I it's so concrete may not be the way to go um, because of the size of pots that I want to get for this area and then I can put an evergreen or something uh, big in it so the bigger the pot the bigger the plant <laughs> but anyway so that's an idea I mean I was thinking about a screen or just something kind of peekabooing you know kind of struck your view from the street back into the back garden but we'll see what happens there's a lot of mulching over here to be done um, the alliums I did plant three alliums here the gladiator alliums here the catnip is coming back um, let's see the hydrangea back there is coming back pardon my garden and the weeds they are just out over here the crocuses like I said we had some rain so what's happening is that the gutter is right above it and if it overflows because it was heavy um, at times they just kind of smush them poor things however let me turn you around here so the pots these particular pots if you all remember I had two evolution hydrangeas that was in the Mother Mary garden and then of course I didn't really didn't like them there too much and then I moved them but I never got rid of them I just moved them into what I call the rehabilitation center at the side of the house that's on un, un unlandscaped shall we say but then I was thinking about it more their root balls are pretty small um, the area here gets kind of part sun to sun and I thought well wouldn't it be just delightful to put them here so I did so I planted them up let's get a little closer and they are breaking dormancy so that's pretty nice clean them up a little bit I do have to top dress it with some mulch but I figure to today or this time around this time of year it's a perfect time to put them there if I want to see them grow and we'll see how they do this year we'll see how they do it's not a long-term solution but it's definitely a solution for this year so they get to be used they get to be up front I think it'll look just lovely with the roses and the hydrangeas and then I'm still still going to put um my Bordeaux Supertunia in the middle uh, urn and I'm excited I'm very excited about that so over here yes the holly well the holly didn't make it the holly started to look really bad leaves started to drop leaves actually turned black first then started to drop um, so it was a perfect opportunity as I was clearing out that section by the gate and transplanting the hydrangea I knew I wanted the pot but I had three small boxwoods over there so there's one there there's the other one there and I didn't have a spot for the third so I just put that one 
in that what I call the rehabilitation center because I wasn't sure where exactly I wanted to put it. However, that's my update for a great rest of the week. And if you have any ideas, please feel free to let me know because I'm always on the lookout for good ideas. I have plenty. Some of them are good ones. Some of them not so good ones. So I always value you guys' uh, thoughts and opinions and ideas and definitely the compliments about my garden coming along. I'm excited to see you come along as well. But for now, garden friends, I will see you in the next video. Happy gardening, fellow gardeners. Bye. Thank you.